Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you my draft grade preview for the Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to take a look at their draft selections and see how well they did this past weekend. The Chiefs made a lot of great selections this year in this NFL's draft, and they built a lot of depth with their roster. You look all the way down to the sixth round with Jarrell Poe, big nose tackle out of Ole Miss. But you look at the first four selections, those guys will have an impact this year on that squad. Jonathan Baldwin out of Pitt. Even Allen Bailey out of Miami, a guy that's country strong, as they like to say. Rodney Hudson is one guy I thought was the best guard in the draft. Now, what I like most about the Chiefs draft, Let's start with Jonathan Baldwin, the wide receiver out of Pitt. This guy is a very talented playmaker. And where the Chiefs struggled last year was finding someone opposite of Dwayne Bow that took some of that pressure off that passing game. Now you team up Baldwin with Bow and Moyaki. Now you have a formidable three uh, wide receiver set, a trio, that can get help Matt Castle get more passes completed and get more production out that aspect of their offense. Rodney Hudson right there number 62 is a guy I thought was the best guard in the draft. A guy that can play guard or center. Reminds me a lot of Jamie Dukes that came out of Florida State a while back. Very talented player. Should fit nice on that offensive line in Kansas City. You look at Justin Houston. You team him up next to Tom Bali. The pass rush will be there for the Chiefs defense this season, and that's going to create a lot more turnovers for that already talented secondary that they have back there with Barry and uh, Carr and company out there in Flowers. But Justin Houston is a guy that's a relentless pass rusher, very natural defensive 3-4 outside linebacker, so he should be a talented player for the Chiefs defense. Ricky Stanzi is a guy I really like. I liked him better than Blaine Gabbert. I actually had him rated higher than Blaine Gabbert. The Chiefs got a steal with his quarterback, and if Matt Castle doesn't pan out like he should, Stansy is right there ready in the wings. The Kansas City Chiefs made a lot of selections and a lot of good picks, which is why I'm giving them an A in this draft. I love the talent that's already on the roster, and adding this group of guys to that squad will prove to be tremendous for that division. For more draft grade previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash draft, or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan and check out the football game plan radio show which airs Saturdays 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan.